Hey everybody, Anne here, and today I'm going to see if I can make a homemade water filter from things that I can find from around the lake that I'm at, and then filter the water from the lake, and hopefully it will become as clear as the water is in that glass that I'm holding that you see before you. Gosh, I hope I don't die. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right, the first thing I need to do is drill holes in this lid so it can kind of drizzle out. And I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's, that's quite enough. I'll have to cut the bottom off, that's for sure. Next, I gathered my biochar, my activated charcoal. Um, it's basically wood that has burned down to being charcoal. And uh, yeah, it's pretty soft. You can break it with your hands and kind of crumble it up and whatnot. I did go ahead and dust the ash off. I actually rinsed the ash off. I pulled it right straight from that fire pit. There was plenty of it there. And uh, yeah, so I kind of rinsed it out. I had, I filled two of these small coffee cup cups and uh, poked holes in the bottom, poured water over it, and just got all that ash out. Didn't have to take that step because it would happen eventually on its own, but uh, yeah, that's what I did. Okay, so next we've got our gravel and our sand. That is the smallest sand that I could find. I had thought that maybe Maybe I could crush it up more with this hammer, and I tried, and it didn't work. So, yeah, this is just uh, the smallest sand that I could find around, and there's the gravel. So that should work, hopefully. Next, I took it back out to the lake and rinsed it off, both the, the small sand and the gravel, the little pebbles. And, uh, yeah, I used lake water. I just got the heavy particulate out, the muddiness of the stones and whatnot. If you look down in there, see all that mud? Gross. Yeah, so I just kept working with it and picking stuff out as I saw it, re-rinsing it, dumping it out, and doing it again and again and again. Yep, just kind of dump that out. And rinse it out again. Yep. And eventually it got completely clean. There was no more muddiness to it and I figured that's good enough for now. And next I needed to prepare the charcoal. I started out just trying to smash the big chunks with a hammer. It worked a little bit, but you know what? It was actually kind of easier just to grab it with my hands and kind of break it up. My hands were totally black by the time I was done, but and just make the pieces a little bit smaller so that hopefully to be a little bit easier to crush up with the hammer when it came time. And that actually did work. So I just kept doing that, um, putting in a few of the big ones at a time, coming back and smashing them, adding a few more. See, it's getting down there. It's getting smaller. Adding a few more big chunks. And a little bit more. And then just coming back with the hammer and smishing and smashing them some more. That seemed to be effective. It took a little while and I was a mess afterwards, but... So yeah, this is, this is what I ended up with. I didn't smash everything to powder. I left some of them big, that's okay. I think that that was plenty good. Um, look, at my, look at my fingers, totally dirty. But yeah, so that worked great. Okay, so we got all our ingredients, we got our sand, we got our gravel or small pebbles, we've got our activated carbon or charcoal, and I just used gauze because I had some. Next, we just have to put it all together. And I'm gonna speed this next part up because whew, it, uh, it just takes a long time to get through. So we start by putting the gauze down into the bottom. And uh, I couldn't decide if I wanted to open it up or just kind of crank it all up and shove it all in there. So I decided to open up the first couple that I put in there just kind of shove them down in the hole and then the rest of them I just kind of you know layered on top of that I think that that's good all right yeah just push it down a little bit yeah I couldn't decide I think that's good enough let's do the charcoal next Alrighty, let me just grab a few handfuls and just put it on in there. That was taking too long, so I ended up just putting it on a plate and kind of 
just you know funneling it in there more charcoal more charcoal oh look at my dirty feet good lord almighty there we go and just dump the rest of it in there be fine very good kind of even it out make it a nice layer there we go that's the first part i think that's plenty of charcoal hopefully it will be all right next let's go ahead and put well sand if i make this again i'm going to try and get some actual sand from somewhere this is just very 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 fine gravel um hopefully it's small enough and it'll work the idea is yeah just dump it all in there at the very top is your gravel your stones um, the top layer should be the biggest pieces the next layer after that smaller pieces the next layer after that should be your charcoal and then cotton or gauze or a cloth or something down in there so here you see me just dumping the uh, <laughs> dumping the big big rocks in there all right I had this receptacle this little jug thingy so I could just kind of put that on top of it and this is sped up too so it won't take forever um, and it kind of balances nicely there inside that five gallon bucket now this water is actually clean water um, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it and rinse everything out a couple of times because um, fine particles yeah they're gonna get through and um, all the powdery stuff from the charcoal see that looks kind of blackish I expected that so I am going to dump it out and do it again this is the second time after I poured more clean water in it's basically clean enough to do what I need to do now um, but me being the pedant that I am did it one more time so there we go perfectly clear water and that was clean water to begin with so um, I need to rinse out my coffee cup so I think that's what I'll do just pour some in there rinse it out and that's good it's very very clear very clear see that perfectly clear okay now I'm gonna go to the lake and get some lake water and where this water is in the lake it's already pretty clear you can see the gravel down there already done a little bit of the work for me um, and I'm just grabbing some lake water see if you look at that it already looks pretty clean which is awesome but what you can't see is there is a slight discoloration to it um, slightly yellowish I know you can't see it but believe me trust me and there's all kinds of floaty stuff in it um, so I'm just gonna pour this into my filter and see see how it turns out yep, let's just let it filter through filter through and so yeah this is going at double speed so um, and I don't think you can see it, but there is there is kind of like yucky stuff particulate floating around in there. And um, what I wish I had done is had a glass of water, of clean water, um, like spring water, bottled water, in a glass and next to the lake water so you could see the difference. Um, but luckily today the lake is pretty calm and um, it looks pretty clean. So, yeah, okay, done filtering. Let's see what it looks like. It is absolutely perfectly clear. There is no discoloration at all. Let's pour it in this glass. See how crystal clear that looks? Nothing floating in it, no cloudiness. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, crystal clear, clean water. And it tastes good too. I tasted it and it tastes just like plain old water. Nothing unusual about it at all, no odor no nothing and it is beautiful clean crisp crystal clear water so um, I decided to just go keep filtering uh, filled up this one gallon jug and uh, look at how beautiful that water is and this here is after five gallons being filtered it is still filtering and it's turning out perfectly clean water so I would say it's a success
Okay, I'm filtering my seventh gallon. So I don't know if you can see this. You might have to be a little bit further away. All right, from this angle, I think you can see the yellowish color of the lake water. And then when it comes down here, it is perfectly clear. So this is the seventh gallon. And it looks like this filter system is still working. So that's awesome. I've already put two gallons that I filtered this way into my big blue tank. Oh my God, it's such a mess. I need to clean, of course, as always. Um, so I'm just putting it in my big blue tank and um, you know what? I don't know if I'll really use that for drinking water. I think I'm gonna test this out a little bit longer to make sure that I'm not gonna get sick. But I can use that water in the blue tank to do things for uh, cleaning, um, anything that's gonna be boiled, like, uh, you know, in the coffee pot or if I need to make some pasta or something because it's gonna be boiled and the heat will kill any additional bacteria that's in there. But this system absolutely is turning yellowish lake water into clear drinkable water. So for the next week or so, or however long to ta it takes to drink that one gallon that I filtered first, I'll be drinking it and I'll keep you updated on if I get sick and if I don't make any more videos, you know that I died. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.